This video explains how to add two vectors by triangle method of vector addition. We have two vectors, vector A and vector B. These vectors may be representing some physical quantity where the length of the two vectors are proportional to the magnitude of the physical quantity they represent. Let it is force. So to add the two vectors by triangle method of vector addition, we follow two simple steps. In first step, I will just arrange the vectors such that head of one vector is at the tail of another vector. For first case, I will take uh, that uh, I will move vector such that head of vector A is at the tail of vector B. So, leaving leave this given thing as is, I will redraw in step one vector a and now move the vector b such that head of a is at the tail of vector b moving vector b now i have head of a at the tail of vector b step one complete in step two what will i do i will join tail of vector a to the head of vector b and the resultant vector joining the tail of vector a to the head of vector b is the resultant vectors so copy this as it is now complete the step two I will bring the resultant vector from nowhere like a magician and complete the step 2. It is just joining the tail of A to the head of B. This vector R is the resultant of vector A plus vector B. And now you may have the idea why this is called as triangle method of vector addition. You can see the triangle here which has two of its side as the given vectors and third side is the resultant vector. That's why we call it as triangle method of vector addition. And this method resultant is obtained by completing the triangle. By completing the triangle with the sides A and B and the third side is the resultant. Just its sense is opposite to the sense of A and B like uh, in this we have head of a at the tail of b and head of b at the head of resultant vector this is the opposite sense the resultant vector is in the opposite sense complete the triangle and you will get the resultant vector but one thing you may ask i have moved vector b such that vector a has its tail at head sorry at vector tail of vector b i we could have done it the other way i have moved vectors such that i have head of b at the tail of a then what will be the resultant so let me show you that thing also moving to the another thing now i will uh, what i will do i will arrange vectors such that head of b is at the tail of a so first move the vector a to the proper position I have vector A now I will move vector B such that head of vector B is at the tail of vector A this is step 1 for the second case now what uh, step 2 is join the free ends of the vectors I will join the tail of B with the head of A and to confirm you that the result will be same I will bring the same resultant vector from the previous step what I have done I simply copy it and paste it here sorry first I will move the vectors original vectors and then I will copy my resultant vector from the previous case and paste it here 
and see what is the miracle i got the resultant vector same in both the cases whether i or take head of a at the tail of b or i arrange vector such that head of b is at the tail of a the result a the resultant is same that is if i add vector b to vector a or i add vector a to vector b i get same result this is the beauty of vectors whether you add vector a to vector b or vector b to vector a you get same result this is known as commutative law or you can say the addition of vectors is commutative so in this video you learned how to add two vectors in a plane by using triangle method of vector addition